So did you solve it yet? Did you know why when we leveled the resources using 4200, this one has moved while it shouldn't move? The answer is very simple because it's not taken by the 4200 per day. It's taken as per month. It's taken as well per activity. So how is this possible? To show you the same example, we are going to see first the budgeted non-labor units. Go to the units. And let's move it before. And here it is. So in order also to make things easier for you, we can choose from here. We can choose select November. And we can choose the time period. This will show you only the activities that's working in November. You go to October. September, the activity in September, August, and so on. So we need to see the activity only in November, and they here they are. So as you see, the highest selling price of all of these activities is installed GRC facade works, which is 97,000. So let's do our calculation again. Let's do our calculation again, calculator, and let's check. So 97, let's say 97,800 over 12 days will give me 8,750. So we should work on this number, not 4,200. Minimize it back again. It's nine, no, it should be more because it's, yeah, it should be more. It's 97. We, let's say 98,000 over 12 days. So it's 8,166. 8,200. So I suppose now, because this is the highest one, if we changed here in the resources tab, 8,200, nothing will change. What do you think? I think you should have got it now. But to see it by your own eyes, here it is. Nothing. What do you think first? But nothing will change because I have already revealed. But as you see here, if you go to the options, first level, then go. Again, it changed. How is this possible? Really, what do you think is going on? And even move to March again. While we made the maximum 8,200 per day. How is this even possible? We have only this resource. Makes this one 9,000 per day and go up to here schedule it's already resources it's moving to february so what should you do move this again to 10,000 you are going to see now Ten, that's trial and error 10,000 and run now it's okay so why this is okay what do you think I just need, need you to think more and more. Just I'll give you five seconds to think while I'll scroll up and down and you will answer me. Or to make it easier for you, I'll pick and I'll scroll, no need to scroll, and you will choose. Do you have anything in mind yet? To make the perfect out of it, you see here in the same time period, there is a lot of activities. It's not only one. So if you if you took this one only or took this the total all, this is not right because here there's some gaps and as well it will not be reflected here. So what I want to say is, let's take one day for example. Let's scroll one day. You are going to see that this is the most crowded area. But here there's also an interaction. You should see which one is the highest price. Which one period is the highest price. So you can do the exercise of 2,403 over 3, 9,612 over 12, which is almost, okay, which is almost, let's say, 900. And 2,403 over 3, it's almost 300. And the same goes on 5,650. You'll find out that you should take, let's say, each one 
or let's say the intersected so we have in this period we have these two activities but this is not the highest period because 5600 over 58 it will give you nothing but we have as well the GRC facade works let's check it the data as well to be more clear GRC facade works together with the paint first coat together with the ceramic tiles for coating all are in the same period so all of these they interact in some way or another for sure this one interacts as well and this one interacts as well but the effect is minimum so now to do the exercise 100 percent right i'm just showing you this in order to understand because if it's a large project you couldn't do this but you should just make trial and errors and you're going to see the results we'll take 2500 over three over three days we will make you 833 which is this one, 833 and 9612 over 12 days as I remember. It's 800, so two 800 so far, 2403, 2403, division 3, and another 800. So as you see, now we have this 8,000, as you remember, 98,000 over 12 days. So we now have 8,166. 8, we will add 900 plus 800 plus 800. That's uh, not that right. Exactly. Okay. It's 10,666. So that's why when we did the trial, it's almost more or less it worked fine here that's why that's the only reason so but if for a large project it's hard but in order not to lose your mind in the large projects trying to investigate if you check this one alone and divide it by 26 just not to lose your mind make sure that it's because of the activities you might just try and error to level as much as possible and not to exceed january or your milestone or your constraint in the project Always keep this in mind. It's a very useful tool. You might use it as for resourcing as well, uh, for smoothing as well, but make sure it doesn't exceed or break any constraint you have in your project. So now you understand the resource leveling and how to do it. So wait on for the next lecture. I guess by now you have got each and everything. So you know exactly what to see while reviewing a shadow. You have seen a lot in this course up to this point. So if the reviewing schedule, you're going to see the lecture, go through it, and it's more of a research. That's a hint.